Robo Kotoria Bashanda, glory be to God, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for he is worthy and to be praised. Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, Rabba Kotoria Bekinde, Rikando Bushanda. We are going into the book of Matthew 11, people of God, verses 12. And my God Almighty want for everyone to understand that tonight is a night of my God Almighty. Mm. Jesus. This is no skin teeth thing and it's no delay. It's, it's a take it by force night. And tonight must be by the time we finish we are going into trans transition. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying, people. Transition, praise God. It is a night of transition. We're God. just as the Lord God Almighty speak in his word and said. When we come to Christ, behold, all things, all things are passed away and become old. All things becomes new. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And tonight there must be trans transition where we must, my God Almighty, go from level to level where we must able to see a great change for all what the enemy of us down all these years all these months all these weeks all this time in many life as the word of god here my god almighty in matthew 11 12 said my god almighty and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffer violent, and violent take it back by force. I don't know, my God Almighty. Can everyone say amen to the word? Come on, people. Amen. 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 We are not, my God Almighty, going to, my God Almighty, sit down all the day long to let, my God Almighty, the enemy take us as a doormat and keep, my God Almighty, wiping his feet on us. If there's, an, if there's never a time Myself here get involved in certain things. Tonight is the night. Amen. Amen. I want you all to understand what I'm talking about because I see my God Almighty in which way I have been beaten up on so many times. If it wasn't for the grace and the mercy of God, I wouldn't even be here today because I know that forces that come in the midst of me are forces to knock me out completely. But thank God for his amazing grace. Amen. Thank the Lord God Almighty that my God Almighty, I have a life with the Holy Spirit of God. Not just a relationship, but also a life with Him. Amen. Because Amen. if I did not have a life with the Holy Spirit of God, where would I be today? And Amen. for His grace that is so sufficient. Amen. Amen. And I rise up to say, my God Almighty, because the Lord God Almighty also has said to me, 
in Psalms 44 5. Uh, no, you all hear I repeat that scripture, that verse, so many times. Some people should be drinking that verse the way you drink your tea every morning or the way you drink water daily. Name it, people of God. Because it is a verse to say to, and to show how much the Lord God Almighty loves us. That he, my God Almighty, said, Through thee will I bring down your enemy. And in thy name will I trod them under. And I know that, my God Almighty, because of the Lord Jesus Christ, he will bring down our enemy. Yes. And yes, in his name that is above all name, he will tread under our enemy. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And it is a night, my God Almighty, that I set out tonight by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to take back what is rightfully mine. Or to yeah. unlock. I am here to unlock what is locked. What has been locked. Amen. Amen. I am here to pull down. What is my God Almighty. Hanging over. Not just myself. But every one of us. For all my viewers. My subscribers. And everyone in the midst. Yes, and this is no skin teeth thing. You have to understand, people of God. I know where I am coming from. And I know where I am going. And this is something personal that you all have to look into yourself and say, I know where I am coming from. And I wait, know where I am going. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Tonight, whatever Assyrian spirit, whatever Philistine spirit, Whatever yes. Sambayat and yes. Tobias spirit, yes. Yes. whatever Ananias and Sapphira spirit, nobody say anything. Did I call the right yes. thing? Did I say something wrong right there? And Ananias and Sapphira spirit, yeah. whatever it is, it must be my God Almighty uprooted tonight because I understand yeah. that yeah. these things have been planted in the midst of our way, in yeah. our way. They are road blocks. They are road blocks in our way. And my God Almighty, there are times when we have to get real radical. I don't know my God Almighty, but I'm not in agreement with what I see one of the time on the WhatsApp. You know, everyone was sending around a picture of a woman beating her child. And I'm not trying to take such a situation to bring out a message. But just to look at this, I look very deeply at the situation when I saw it and I listened to what the woman was saying. I'm not saying that she's right. But when she speak, you can understand the the depression of what she have been dealing with. 
Jesus. And this woman, my God Almighty, she get real angry that day that she didn't even care who was watching her to see her, my God Almighty, almost naked. She was only in her panty or underwear. And she grabbed that child with the machete. And I'm telling you, I never see somebody beat a child with a machete like that and don't give her a cut. I want that. I'm not. I'm not using it, people of God, to brag about it. I'm just looking on the way she go about doing it, and she was saying, "I am. I am very fed up and tired of the situation." That's where I am getting. What I'm talking about, people of God. It wasn't right for her to do it, the way she beat that child. But then again, there comes a time when a cup is full, it starts to run over. Amen. I want you all to understand what I'm saying. Yes, amen. And where I am concerned, if I was the law... I would not lock her up. I would only warn her not to do it again. Yeah. The reason for me to say that she's a single mother and my God Almighty, these children been giving her a lot of talking and she just couldn't take it anymore that she step out of the bathroom or maybe out of the, the house off naked, gra grab that cutlass. Maybe the cutlass was the qu quickest thing for her to grab because it's like she just get fed up and tired and sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of taking it no more. And that woman, all that child, I'm telling you, she did not, you, you know, like somebody would just look where to slap and look where to eat. She didn't have to do that and she did not. The way she beat that child with the cutlass, I'm telling you, she did not cut her, she did not name it. It's, she do it like a prof. She do it like a pro. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. she was saying, I am sick and tired. I am sick and tired of your whole behavior. Well, tonight, my God Almighty, Rebecca, to Tonight, my God Almighty, I am sick and tired, I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired. Because people of God, when I really and truly check it out, I've been saying for a while that I have been attacked by witchcraft eight times but people of god i come to understand that it's my god almighty it's it's way far more than eight times because it's just that i could say 12 um 10 times because the last two times with sending those letters the last two times well by sending those letters People of God, that was my God Almighty, a great attack to me because I felt the effect of the bullet. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying. The good Lord allow me to feel the, uh, the effect of the bullet. And by feeling, my God Almighty, the effect of the bullet, people of God, if it wasn't the love that my Bunununus have for me, where would I be? Come on, talk to me. Where would I be? And I come to understand, my God Almighty, As the word of God here, my God, my Kode Bekende, in Matthew 11, Rebe Kotoria Bashanda, starting from 11 to 12, 
This is no skin teething people. Say, so verily I say unto you, among them that are born of woman, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. That is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Is greater than he. Yes, God. And my God Almighty, the one that is greater, Marco Setorekando de Boshende, than John the Baptist, he understand and know, my God Almighty, what the children of man are facing, or the son of man are facing. Yes. And I yes. want you all to understand, people of God. Whenever we read the Bible and we see son of man, as Ezekiel would say, son of man, that yes. is my God Almighty. It, 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 um, that saying is not specializing only in a man because we all are man to God. Yes. Yes. We all are man to God. It's just that we happen to have the womb. And they said woman. And then the man now that stand without the womb, they said man. But he said son of man. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. And he understand my God Almighty what the children of man been suffering all the days of their life. But I rise up to say because my Bible tell me that the good Lord in spite of all what you are going what we are going through there comes a time when we must able to have peace and rest from the enemy. Amen. There must be peace and rest from that wicked old dragon Satan. No joke about it, people. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. There can't be the same thing all the time. No. 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 Can't be violent all the time. That's right. Amen. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Mighty God. If we might go, if somebody can, um, Minister Gay. Yes. If you can turn your Bible quickly. To Second Cor Second Chronicles nineteen. Okay, thank you, Lord. Got it. Yes. Let's let's look at my God Almighty. Verse. Let me hold on. Give me a minute. Let me open this leaf. Yes, let's let's look at verse from verse ten, and I would say to thirteen. I don't know, I didn't look for I didn't look for it. I just turned my Bible and drop right there, so I'm going to swing with the flow. Second Chronicles nineteen only goes to um, verse eleven. Sorry, not second, first. Sorry. The page oh. been, the page been right there and I wasn't even taking note. Alright. First Chronicles nineteen. From verse 10. Okay. Let's read from 8. Let's read from 8 and hear what 8 have to say. Go ahead and let me hear what. Because you see people of God. Whenever you are set out for a war. 
there must be you know instruction there must be a command for us to follow a commandment for us to follow amen amen amen, amen. amen. you can't ju- there's no there's never a war if you see a war and people just run out and start to fight like that. That's a fight. That's a war of confusion because nobody know what they attack for. Only one side might know it. But tonight the enemy must know what we are about. They must know what we are about and wherever they are tonight, they must be trembling in their drawers. Yes. Hallelujah. If there's never a time I'm serious, tonight is at night I am serious. Whatever belongs to me, I must have it. Whatever belong to me, I must have it. Go ahead, my dear. Let me hear what this word is saying right here. Glory be to God. Lord, I thank you for your word, for it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Illuminate in Jesus' holy name. Amen. First Chronicles 19, verse 8. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the host of the mighty men. First Chronicles 19, verse 9. And the children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array before the gate of the city. And the kings that were come were by themselves in the field. First Chronicles 19, verse 10. And when Joab saw that the battle was set against him, before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel and put them in array against the Syrians. First Chronicles 19, verse 11. And the rest of the people he delivered under the hand of Abishai, his brother. And they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. First Chronicles 19, verse 12. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I... First Chronicles 19, verse 13. Be of good courage, and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people and for the cities of of our God, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. Glory be to God, hallelujah. And there, okay, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God, hallelujah. The Lord will do what is good in his sight tonight. I said the Lord will do what is good in his sight tonight. God is telling us to be of good courage and let us behave ourselves violently, violently. Valiantly, yes, Valiantly. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We, 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 we are not about, tonight we are not like, as I said, you know, we call them back home, we call them some little ants, they're just walking and looking like they're crazy and care. No, we are not about that. We are not about that. We know exactly what we are about. I said, people of God, we know exactly. Listen, I want you to be in agreement. Don't stay too quiet. Tonight, my God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Thank you, mighty King. You see, you have to understand, people of God, there is always people 
that set themselves as a bully over God's people. Hey, you're speaking the truth. Set yes, themselves as bullies over yeah. God's people. Yeah. 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 And the wickedness that they choose to do, many times, three quarters of the times, you and I don't know why. Amen. And the worst thing in life, my God Almighty, is to know that you're about your father's business while others about your life. Hey, speak Holy Spirit. I want you to understand what I'm talking about, people of God. Yes, yes. I said many yes. times, my God Almighty, when you are about your father's business, others are about your life. And many times, my God Almighty, you have to wonder. You have to wonder and say, my God Almighty God, what have I done for a wicked man to come up against me the way he is doing it? He or she is doing it. Because, my God Almighty, you see, the wicked, they plan, my God Almighty, daily. Daily. Daily, people of God, the word of God in Psalms said, they sit, my God Almighty, daily, my God Almighty, to destroy the righteous, they sit daily. It is like a song to them. It is like a tune that they could dance from people. It is a beat for them to dance and my God Almighty get down and be happy while you are sad and dear in pain and agony. That's right. That's right. While you are sad and in pain and in agony. Yes, God. I want you to understand, people of God. The God that I serve, He promised. And His promise is yea and amen. And He's the God Almighty that said, He will never leave us nor forsake us. And that is something that we need to get in our spirit. He is the Lord God Almighty. The Holy One of Israel. I want you all to understand. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. My God Almighty. And because he is the Lord God Almighty, he see my God Almighty what is going on. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying, people. Yes, very good. Amen. God sit my God Almighty. In the heaven of the heaven. And the heaven of the heaven, as he has given me the revelation, he sit in the element of heaven, people. Yes, yes Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the element of heaven where he sit, he have seen the wickedness. Tonight, my God Almighty, I rise up as a warrior to bring down every forces and darkness in the first and second heaven. They must come down tonight. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebecca Toria Bashanda. Let me tell you something, people of God. That is the reason why I am teaching you all and telling you all. Get radical in your all prayer. Get radical yeah. in your all prayer. 
This is something you all will never, never regret. Never regret. This is something you all will be so happy for. If you all look and see your life today, the way you pray today, the way you, my God Almighty, my God Almighty, you know, talk to God and so forth. God, you know, when God hears some of you praying these last days, God just looking at you all and said, oh my God, look at my son, look at my daughter. Oh Lord, I see the fire. Oh, I feel the fire. He stay on the throne and he feel the fire heat. Come on, people. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Because yeah, he, my God Almighty, see that. You all, my God Almighty, are not just sending up smoke, but you're sending up fire. Come on, people. Let me tell you all something. Puny, puny prayer won't work. So what is going on these last days? Listen to me, people. Puny, puny prayer won't work. And if anyone is in a place tonight where it's a place where somebody's going to tell you, oh, I, 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 I have to do go to work in the morning, or I have to this, I have to that. Look, they said, look here, tonight is a night of sacrifice. And if you cannot sacrifice with me, well, I don't know how it's going to be. There are times when you have to make sacrifice, people. Yes, right. Yes. You have to make up your mind at times. Let me tell you something. The greatest, the what, the greatest slaughtering, the greatest, my God Almighty, wickedness that you can ever see take place is a wickedness, my God Almighty, where they sit down and they plan. Mm -hmm. yes. A God man, my God Almighty, when he planned that he's going in for a whole entire family. They plan people of God. They plan while while many there just sitting down and relax. Don't even get an idea that danger is a lurking them. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 And just imagine people of God. Tonight, my God Almighty, my fight is not just my God Almighty for myself, but it's for all of you out there. And it's also for my God Almighty, many. I'm even fighting for those that they have killed. I want you to understand. That's all. That's all. Angry, my spirit man is against the wicked plan of Satan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I want you all to understand this, people of God. Understand this and get this seriously in your spirit. I tell people this and they believe it's a joke. We understand, my God Almighty, that the word of God is the word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. But the days, my God Almighty, of taking up, my God Almighty, even your Bible, and said you're going into it and you're praying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. People of God, the days of praying those prayer and go to, going to sleep must be over. That's right. That's right. I don't know if you all get what I'm saying. Yeah. I grew up, my God Almighty. I grew up where, my, where I've been taught by my mother. In my little bed I lie. Heavenly Father, hear my cry. Lord, for protect me through this night. Keep me safe till morning life. Those days are over. Amen. Thank you, God. Over. The days, my God Almighty, of laying down and going to your bed. Lord, Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord, uh, Lord, I'm searching for word and, uh, and carrying on. And by the time you're there praying, you're fast asleep. It is over. It is over. If you all, my God Almighty, can't get it, that you all must be radical.
people of God, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you all a little story. Whenever or whoever Lucifer have to destroy the children of God, these people are very, very dangerous. Very dangerous set of people. Very, very dangerous set of people. And let what you all need to get and understand. These are people, they know the weaker ones. They know when you are weak. Yeah, yeah. And whether you all want to believe it or not, as the word of God tells us in Ephesians, my God Almighty 6, verse 10, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor. Those that do not put on the armor are weak. Yeah, yeah. I want you all to understand what I'm talking about. Whenever the enemy gets somebody to possess them and to use them, they know, my God Almighty, who to, like back home, a few of us on this line that are from Jamaica, I sure know you're supposed to know this saying. They said, Doppy know who to frighten. Yes. 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 What? They said, Doppy you know who to frighten. For instance, um, demon. Demon know who to frighten people. Hallelujah. And demon, listen to me. Demon know who to frighten, and demon know who to back off from. Because I can tell you this, people of God, when your house becomes a house, when your house becomes my God Almighty, a house of prayer, I'll tell you something, wherever prayer is blazing up, and many people don't understand, prayer becomes fire, people, if it, if it is blazing. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I said prayer becomes fire when it is blazing. Yes, and the earth is part about life, how oh, I look at life. Whenever you, my God Almighty, with your all dear people of God, you know for sure what you have been through. You know, my God Almighty, how you have been bruised, kicked, and batten. Come on, people. You know, my God Almighty, the many trials and tribulations that you have to face because of the wicked one. Yes. So if you, my God Almighty, have been through it, why, my God Almighty, my God Almighty, you're laying back as if you don't know about it? Come on, people. If you know what you have been through, why laying back? That's it. This is what I can't understand. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four, it's not five. So many times, my God Almighty, I've been battered and beaten on so many, on, on both sides. And still, at my God Almighty, many of you get to a stage, especially those that come on the line as, and has, has been delivered, delivered by my God Almighty, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your prayer life should never be the same. Never. Amen. Amen. When you're praying, my God Amen. Almighty, when you pray, you know, let me, say, let me tell you all something. <laughs> I remember when I was back home, you know, some little old time saying, sometimes I think about these things, I just laugh like the other day I was talking to my mother, my mother, my mother said, <laughs> she said, a lady look at her and said, Miss Ina, Miss Ina. Boy, you look good, sir. Since you die, Miss a T blowing good breeze on you. She said, woman, stop it. Stop it. If he was blowing good breeze on me, he would be blowing good breeze and would be alive today. Stop it. 
It is the Lord Jesus Christ that is protecting me. What I'm trying to say, people of God, many of you, my God Almighty, you have been through so much, but still yet, it's like you don't get it yet. But I rise up to say, people of God, there can't be people coming in my midst and remain the same. No way, no way. I said, no way. No way can people come coming in the midst of me and be, and remain the same. No way. I remember when I was, I when I was, you know, you know, they really grow us up stupid when we small. They tell us some little things and cause us to grow up with so much fear. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not saying that demons and those things wasn't really a wrong and then you know they would um really and truly attack people and name it and what have you but they they, they attack us because we were my god almighty we, because we grow up and we don't grow up with, with such a radical spirit we, we grow up in fear just like how they, just like how they would tell us, you know, if you're passing the bearing ground, don't point because if you point your finger, it's going to drop off. Jesus Christ. I wonder if you all hear what I'm talking about, people. People talk some things. They said if you out if if if, if it when it touch six o'clock and you you dash water. You, you, you know, you, you might, you, you have to say, move people, move people, move family, no, tell me all this. I grow, I grow around my aunt, aunt, I have near Esme. She's the main person I hear, I hear with this stupidness. Now that I'm looking back on it. Let me tell you something, people of God, this is no joke. If I pull my door right now. And if I happen to my God Almighty, I have something I want to throw out. I throw out and say, Twam! Fire for the for your enemy. Jesus. I want to be honest what I'm saying. I said, I remember I'm in the kitchen and I'm doing what I'm doing. And I don't throw certain things down in the sink. And I open the door, people have gone, and I just dash it and say, Fire! I want to hear what I'm saying. If there's anyone stray away passing by, they're wrong. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying, people. You must know you're right. No demon, Mike, listen to me. Worse, you know, they did not bury anybody in where you are living. Where demon coming from passing by your door? Come on, talk to me. Right. And they used to have us support these stupidness. Right. Having us support these stupidness. No, mind you throw it and wet up the people them. What kind of crap is that? Wet them up here and then. I want to be understand what I'm talking about, people. What kind of crap is that? These things put fear upon God's people. Don't understand that all it takes, my God Almighty, the blood of Jesus against you. When they hear it, they must scatter. But the reason why demon don't scatter is when your prayer life is poor. When your prayer life is poor. Let me tell you something, people of God. Demon is afraid of you when they when you have a strong prior life. Amen. You might not even be the one. You might not have a deliverance ministry, what have you, but when your prior life is strong with God. Amen. Well, if you all get what I'm saying. You know you're right, people of God. I'm telling you, 
When your prayer light is right, demon don't come near your dwelling. Demon go around the city at night. Whether you want to believe it or not, the people of God, let me tell you something. Every time you pray, it's like my God Almighty, you light a lamp to burn throughout the night. Yeah, yeah, that's and as I said, my God Almighty, you might not in the mood at night to say, Oh, yes, God, Holy Ghost, fire. Da, 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 da. But even if you say, My God Almighty, you know, you're tired tonight to your lady and say, God, I'm going to sleep, Father God, Holy Ghost, fire, cover me, keep me, guide me throughout the yeah. night, Lord. And you say two little words and you close your eyes and you're going to sleep. That alone light your fire. Because you have my God Almighty. A fiery prayer life with God. You have the relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And when there is no blemish. Amen. Listen to this. When there, when there is no blemish. In your spirit. In your spirit. You know, many people, they're serving God and they're using some word and talking some way as if they are not saved. It's true, right. Talking like they unsave them. Right. Saying right. some indecent things. Talking as if they're still out there. When you live like that, people of God, the enemy will overpower you. Demon will laugh at you and say, look at that one. We're going to get that one. That is so true. Because the, these things are open door to the enemy. Yes. When you come into Christ Jesus, behold, all things, all things are Pass away and be all, all things becomes new. Your talking must change. Your talking must change. Your conversation must change. The way you used to say things, you must say it no more. It's a great change since I was born. Yes, Lord. I am trying to let you all know, people of God, that the reason why I'm saying this, tonight is a night of trans transition. Yes. Tonight is a night of transition, people. Whatever my God Almighty we do tonight, there must be newness. People of God, I don't know if you all remember my God Almighty as a little child. You ever realize that when it touched the holiday and you know it's holiday, it's the, the day just different? Yeah. It's a different feelings. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you, you, you all notice that like today... You know when I know no it's it I heard it yesterday or the um day before yesterday I hear that it was you know Friday was gonna be Good Friday. But I wasn't even I was like Good Friday in March. And I just you know, I kinda bypass it because people of God, I get to the stage, my God almighty. Holiday holiday don't mean much to me anymore. I'm telling you all the truth. I'm telling you all the truth, all the days, you know, the way I used to look forward to things when I was young. I'm not into those things anymore. Every day I look more for better. Every day I look more to see change in the life of men. So I rise up, my God Almighty, to say, I rise up to say, people of God, when my God Almighty, I, I was there and I'm saying, wait, after I finish the, the line, when I get off the line and then I go outside, that is when I start to feel a different, I, I, I say, wait, 
Today is Friday. Today is Good Friday, they said, no? And, and now I just start to feel a little different in my spirit, like where the day is concerned. Because I w I'm not folk. If you, if you all notice, we well, look at the message um, yesterday morning, people of God. I didn't, pre I didn't preach no because the way the Lord tell me, he said to me, you don't have to follow nobody and what, because everybody preaching about crucifixion, you preach crucifixion. Preach whatever I want, I tell you to preach or teach. Amen. He said don't make it real, he said don't make it into a religious thing. No tradition. No tradition. Glory be to God. Don't make it into a tradition thing. When if you want to preach about Christmas, my God Almighty, on Easter Day, do it. If you want to preach about resurrection on Christmas Day, do it. Because none of these, this, many people don't understand, none of these things, none of these days don't move Christ. Because many people try to hide their sin and days like these days. Hey. Want to act holy and act righteous as if they are so high, my God Almighty. People talking about my God Almighty when it come on to days like Good Friday, they don't they, they don't cook, they don't cook meat because it's blood and it is this and it is that and Tara not knows what and what people don't understand is that the greatest thing about that day keep it only like any other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying, people. Yes, mighty God. What I'm trying to get at people of God, it is the relationship that we keep with God that makes him smile. Because don't care, my God Almighty, how we're going to celebrate the day and our spirit man is not right. God is not in the deceitful spirit. That's what Satan used to overpower us. That's right. Yes. Satan look at us many times and he, he start to laugh at us. He said we are only up, we are only making puppy show at ourselves. That's right. Yes, Jesus. That's right. We are only making puppy show at ourselves, people. When we just focus on these things, but to keep it real. To keep it real. Amen, yes. It mustn't be no anky panky thing, people. It is full time for the children of God to get rid of the whole and let the new be in the midst. These demons, my God. Let me, let me tell you something. If there's never a time Satan ate the children of God is today. Amen. Such a time like now. Right. I said such a time like now. If he have never ate the children of God, he have ate the children of God such a time like now. Yes. Ate them. You know, people of God, we have such a privilege. We as children of God, we have such a privilege. To show my God Almighty the enemy who we are in Christ Jesus. We have such a privilege. Yes. And still it, my God Almighty, we are playing with it. Many countries today, they have to be hiding what is going on in India. What is going on in my God Almighty? Many countries today, they can't even have a Bible. They can't even hold a Bible at other seat. They kill them for it. They kill them. They, they can't even pray like us. They have to be eyed whispering, praying. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They have to be eyed whispering and praying because, my God Almighty, their life is at stake. That's right. Their life is at risk. 
Others are there waiting to bring them down, my God Almighty, as this. They just want to see them with a Bible leaf in their hands. Not doing or saying anything, just have it. They can't catch them with it. And still yet, we have the privilege, we have, my God Almighty, the dominion, power, and the authority to go forward and do what we are to do as children of the Most High God. Let us get rid, my God Almighty, of the anky panky living with each other. Because I'm telling you, people of God, the, dem the demons, them, are not playing. You see right now, you see right now I am here. That is the reason why you know people of God I want you all to pray for me. So that God will put me into a put me into a neighborhood and put me into a house where I can able to be up like now praying. Because I, I many people look at me, oh, why don't you just get an apartment? Then I say I cannot live in those places. Because if I live into an apartment and for me tomorrow, even if I'm down on the bottom floor, the song go up. And if I'm on the top floor, I'm gonna be marching in people's head and I'm going to be making noise. And all I'm going to hear is boom, boom, and look, two twos police come, two twos landlord tell me, well, you know, we have to break the, we have never break the contract, but we have to break it with you. You are disturbing your God's people. I'm a warrior, people of God. I'm a warrior. I was, I was told one time, why you have to pray so loud? I said, listen to me, I'm not praying for myself, I'm praying for the world. I'm a warrior. Yeah, That's right. I don't pray. I don't pray and whisper. Yeah, and that's what is that's what is fooling many people because the songwriter said, "Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper. This me no more whispering. Come on, people, radical. Get radical. Yes, God. If you are at your work." I understand. I understand if you are at your work, you have to, my God Almighty, show that respect to the Eden them. Because you can't go there and blow out and what have you. But when you are in your house, people of God, get radical. Get radical. My God Almighty, I rise up to tell you, demon will hear your voice from my... Whenever you pray through pu 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 puny, puny prayer, people of God, it don't go further than the first heaven and they block it. Block it. Yes. Many times, you, many times, many times you are dear and you are saying, my God Almighty, you pray and you are waiting on God to come through. You want to hear what happened? The demons and my God Almighty, they catch your prayer and they just capture it. And it can't pass the first heaven, much less the second to go to third. Because what? When they see that your prayer is empty and full of contamination, you, it cannot go up to God. Cannot. Right. Cannot. I tell you the truth, people of God, this is no joke thing. The reason why they want to kill me is because my prayer tree is bearing. Come on, people. Yes. Amen. Right. I have just said something bad. I'm not, listen to me. The prior tree that I'm talking about, if you notice, is not for me. It's for you all, people. I'm praying for the whole world. Amen. That is the reason why they want to kill me. That's right. Amen. That is the reason why they want to kill me, people. But the gates of hell, the gates of hell shall not prevail. It shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Let God arise and the enemy scatter. You see what you all don't get and understand, people of God. When you are, when, listen to me. It's not just to get radical, as I said, you know. It's to live a clean and a pure life before God. 
Things that my God Almighty, things that my God Almighty, people used to do back then, you must not do it again. Whatever we used to do when we were younger, name it and whatever you and don't know better. Know that we know better, we are to do better, people of God. We have to get rid of the gossiping, get rid of my God Almighty intimidation, retaliation, envy, strife, backbiting, unforgiveness, hatred, division. Name it, people of God. You can some of you, my God Almighty, need to pray and ask God to exclude you from the telephone. Some of you need to ask God about that. Because some of you have some friends, all they want to do is chat you out until you're weak and you come off the phone. Not one prayer go up. Some of you have some people, my God Almighty, they want to just chat, 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 chat. And when if you said, let us pray, they don't even want to open up their mouth and pray. They just want to talk because their mouth set and spring. Amen. The whole thing is joke I'm running. I know what I'm talking. I know what I'm talking. There are days, my God Almighty, I plug out my phone. I don't want to hear from nobody. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying, people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear from nobody because I have, me people of God, I have work to do for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. This is no joke thing. I will give, whenever, whenever I'm not having the line, I will just, my God Almighty, plug out the phone some of the mornings. Plug it out some of the time. I don't want to hear from nobody. I want to just, I want to just sit down and have, have, have that time with God. I have two people of God. You all need to understand. Let me say this to you all. In life, in life, and as we know, I'm going to give you all a deep revelation right here. Listen to this revelation. In life, some of us, my God Almighty, that are from the Caribbean. And I don't know if they used to do it in America. This is what I'm saying. I don't know if people used to do it in America. Maybe. Yes, I think so. Like when people go cabin, go, go in um, like on certain island, go, maybe go in you know certain place or whatever you, they might do it. But we, my God Almighty, from the Caribbean, we know about the wood fire. Come on, talk to me. You know about the wood fire. Yeah. Cooking with yeah. cooking with the wood fire. Yeah. Nowadays, my God Almighty, you don't see that happen in America here. Even back home, you hardly find people do that again. Everybody, you know, things get civilized now, and people' life is a little better. Glory be to God, Hallelujah, name it or what have you. And you find my God Almighty, if it's not. People, you have one or two people might still use coal fire sometimes, as well as they use the gas fire. Some one or two people might use the oil stove, that is, they like the poorer ones, them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, is that, my God Almighty, in America, here, you don't find it nowhere. Because I was saying, what if I have a breadfruit tree? How would I blow, roast my... Well, I find you can roast it. People roast it on the stove. Which is, is not healthy. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. It's not healthy. Right. If you bake it in the stove, in the oven, it's probably a little oh. better. Oh. Get what I'm saying? It's probably better. But when we used to... Be, when we do bake those... Roast those things on the wood fire, it's the greatest thing that can ever happen to that breadfruit and healthy and all right. What I'm trying to say, people of God, my God Almighty, when it come on to prayer, when it come on to prayer, you all need to get this in your spirit. If you're going to my God Almighty do the gas stove prayer, it won't work. If you're going to do my God Almighty, the oil, if you're going to do the oil stove prayer, it won't work. But people of God, I don't know about nobody. I do the wood fire prayer. The wood fire prayer. Yeah. I want you all hear what I'm saying, people. In Jesus name. 
I deal with the wood fire prior because I know the type of wood to put in my fire. And I'm talking about the Primenta. Smukura Bashetiri Katori Abama Kondoraboso. I deal with the wood fire prior people of God because you have some wood in the people of God. They they they, they blaze, they hardly smoke. You hear that the log wood people Back home when we back home when my grandmother used to cook, they know the type of wood to put my God Almighty under the fire. It don't yeah. smoke, it blaze. It's like oil in it. Yeah. Come on, people. Oh, I remember my God Almighty when when my mother, you all remember my God Almighty when we used to have the baby out there. And my God Almighty, we said we didn't we could not use the bleach on the baby nappy. We have to boil the nappy. People of God, I don't forget the pitch point wood. When you put those wood under the zinc pan, it started to blaze. Yes. Come on, people! I'm spe I'm speaking reality. Many might not understand in America what I'm talking, but what I'm trying to say, people of God, the prayer that our heart to pray is the blazing prayer. Hey. Yes, I receive it. I receive it, Jesus. The blazing prayer, the blazing prayer, people, and I'm going to give, rev I'm, I'm giving revelation, people. I don't know if you're all and Ori, I never know I was going to turn here. We're going to pray, we're going to pray. We all, you see, everything we're doing right now, we're praying, you know. I don't know who want to go to their bed right now, name it all of you, but we're going to pray. But you see, the greatest thing about, the greatest thing about prayer is to know where you stand, what you're about. Yes. The greatest prayer is to know where you stand and what you're about. You know, some people would call you, oh my God, pray, 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 pray. I don't know what is going on. Pray, pray, pray. What kind of stupidness is that? Worse, you don't have the spirit of discernment. Oh, you're going to know what to pray. Come on, talk to me. That's right. Well, somebody, if somebody really call you and say, pray, 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 the best way to pray is to pray in the spirit. That's all I can say. Because if you don't know what to pray, the spirit know exactly what to pray. Come on, talk to me. Yes. The spirit know exactly what to pray. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, 